of course, crime does come with living in a city, and especially one that's growing as fast as Denver. And it's not the only issue local restaurants and store owners are trying to navigate. One complicated question, how to balance business with the homeless population living downtown. Denver 7's Connor Wist is going 360 on who public space really belongs to and why plans for improvement come with pushback. The 16th Street Mall is part of downtown Denver's Business Improvement District. And while city leaders say projects here in the public space are on track with what they want to see in the city, others are not so in tune with that plan. Just like in music, each note strikes a different chord. But when those chords aren't in harmony... They are responsible for gentrifying, privatizing, and destroying our communities. It can get vocal. This is, is, is unjust. Homeless advocates gathered in Skyline Park in downtown Denver to fight for rights in public spaces. This comes after a report was released from University of California, Berkeley, claiming business improvement districts, or BIDS, privatize downtown areas and push out the homeless population. We want a city for everyone, not a place um, where you're privatizing public spaces um, through fences and through laws and through um, policing. But some Denver residents like Debbie Schwartz welcome more security in order to feel safer. It is intimidating because I come out here late at night when I walk her before I go to bed and there are a lot of homeless people sleeping out here or partying out here. Debbie does agree that the public park should be a place for everyone as long as they treat it correctly. They're allowed to hang out here like anyone else, but it's not a campground. The Downtown Denver Partnership says bids are strictly funded by private commercial property owners. The project spans 120 blocks, with the goal to provide a clean, safe, and vibrant downtown environment for workers, residents, and visitors. But Denver resident Steve Smith believes the fences set up are serving a different purpose in Denver. They say it's for regeneration, but they've had the fence around a large part of it for like a year plus, so I don't. I think it's to keep the homeless out, quite honestly. The homeless advocates want the business districts to change their tune about keeping the homeless away. Business owners say they just want everyone to be able to enjoy the area in harmony. I'm Connor Wist, Denver 7.